guys, this is FooberDooge, and today we're going to be taking a look at part 4 of 6 of the Fall of Cybertron Platinum Edition, Grimlock vs. Bruticus, and this is Swindle. So as you can see, he's in his, I guess it's kind of an SUV thing. I honestly don't know what this is supposed to be. Some sort of Cybertronian armored vehicle or something, I don't know. But um, I, really, I really do like the paint apps on this and just the overall way it looks. So, coming in close here, um, you got a really nice Decepticon logo right there, really large and really prominent, which is really nice. And this purple, I don't know how well you can tell, but it has sparkles in it, so I really do like that. You might be able to see that. That's just really nice. And then all the purple highlights here and there, and then this gunmetal gray. Just overall, really nice. It is kind of choppy right here, like you can see some crap in there. And same over here. But I do like the tailpipes, how they sort of cover up the hands. And the tailpipes are kind of a silvery color. And on the bottom, you can see a bunch of junk, but it's not that big of a deal. And then on the rims, you have purple highlights, and I really like that. That gives it a nice Fall of Cybertron vibe. So, putting him there, he does have a weapon. Um, it does combine with, I think it's Brawl's weapon, and I'll get into that later in my Bruticus review. But I really do like this nice silver paint. And then there's a peg right here, and it just goes on like so. So that's pretty cool. I'll probably always keep a gun on him because in G1 he had a gun back here. I wish they would have put a port back here, but you can only do so much with a toy. So anyway, putting him here to get a hold of the size comparisons. Here he is with Starscream, or the Armada Starscream that is. And eh, it's no K-scale. They're all about the same size generally because they're all deluxe, but eh, what are you going to do? Well, scale is now as outrageous as this is. This should be a lot bigger, but it's the Combaticons have always been super out of scale, so it doesn't bug me that much. And the color scheme, the colors are actually a, quite a bit different. His is a lot more darker beige, and his is more kind of beige mixed with white, I'd say. So taking off Blast Off, here he is with Brawl, and I think that works the best right there. I still think they should probably swap sizes a little bit, but it, it works a lot better than planes and, and space shuttles and stuff like that. So taking him off... Finally, here he is with Vortex. That's a bit more of a better scale, I think. So anyway, taking off Vortex. Now we can put him in leg mode, because that's ultimately what he turns into. So what you want to do first is take off this gun here. I'll just set that off to the side over back here. And so what you want to do is detach this. These are two pegs or slots that tab into these little holes right there. And so this can just go out of the way for now. And just We can just leave that. And so the arms... You can see there are tabs here. They did tab into a place right there, and you might be able to see that. So you just untab those, fold down the legs at the knees, so they fold down like that. And then you want to just rotate everything, and so then this can pop out. And it's really hard to get in there, but you want to eventually pull this, and actually don't want to rotate this, sorry about that. You just rotate this all the way up so that's clear and ready to go, and you keep this folded back up. And you just pretty much tab everything back together. I just unfolded everything because I feel like it's easier to get at things. So, and it's it kind of screws everything up anyway when you're trying to get this piece out because you're moving in and then you grab things and they just they just all falls apart. So this you can peg right back into there. Pretty much nothing changes except for bringing this piece up. So, yeah, there's his leg mode. So now to get him into robot mode, just undo everything, untab his arms. Untap his legs, pull this piece up, actually you want to pull this down, and it's got a really cool hinge mechanism in here, so just pull this all the way down, rotate the waist, just keep the arms out for now, pull, fold this big black piece down, fold this, and then there are two tabs here and here, and then there's two tabs here and here, and they just peg right into place, and you got to rotate them so they fit just right, and then you can fold up his head, and that can be a bit tricky. There we go. Just fold up his head like that, and then this slots down and pegs if you just move it down like that. And then these fold up. You can just move everything the way you want them to. You can fold these forward if you want to kind of hide some of the gaps. And there, there he pretty much is in his robot mode. And I have to say, I do like the way that he looks in his robot mode. I think now he's my favorite for robot mode, because his transformation is the cleanest, and there's not hardly any kibble, and he just looks 
more like a robot than the other guys do, and he just looks like Swindle. So I really do like how um, he just looks a lot more like his original character than some of the other guys do. So taking his weapon here, you can take that and just peg it onto his hand. I wish that there was a peg hole up here so you could put it on his shoulder, but you can't do that, so it's not that big of a deal for me. But yeah, it's kind of a cool weapon. I do like um, how it looks on him. And so for articulation, his head, I believe, is just on a swivel. Actually, no, it is on a slight ball joint, but it's really tight, so it's hard to move. His shoulders are on a ball joint, so you get a lot of movement in that. And then he's got an elbow joint here. It's on a ball. It's really interesting because it's got like a swivel on the wheel, and then you got a ball joint. So you can sort of do a double hinge bend, I guess you could say that is. Um, I believe nothing at the wrist, and then he does rotate at the waist. He's got a ball joint at the thigh, so he got full movement there. He rotates at the thigh, and he's got a little bit of toe wiggle. So, that is it for articulation. So, we can set him off to the side and do the size comparisons. So, here he is with Armada Starscream. So, about the same size as you can see. He's actually slightly taller. So, taking him off. And now, we're going to have to make some room here. Here is with the rest of the team. Here he is with Ball, who doesn't like to stand. Blast off. And he doesn't like to stand either. And Vortex. Almost knocked over his buddy. So yeah, all the limbs are done now. Oh, I forgot to put Brawl's gun on. Do that real quick here. So yeah, there are the Combaticon limbs. All we have left is Onslaught. Come on, Brawl. Stop giving me a hard time. There we go. So yeah, they all are starting to look pretty good together. I really do like the way that this team is shaping up to look like. So now we can take these guys off. And I can wrap up this review because I think that's about it. So this has been Food Reduge. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. If you missed any of the other Combaticon reviews, I'll put links in the description below if you want to check them out. And also, I invite you to check out some of the other reviews I might have for other figures. And also, I would invite you to like this video, share it, and also subscribe if you feel led to do so. And if you want to check out some of my stop motion videos, then feel free to do so. You can search my channel. They're on there anywhere, and you can find them pretty easily. And so, this is Fuber Dude saying, keep playing, guys.